I am a pediatric nurse. That's what I am. To me, teaching is just an extension of that. If I love what I do and I'm good at it, the parents tell me I'm very good at it, if I don't replace myself, how will I continue that? So um, I do bedside care. I'm a pediatric nurse practitioner where I actually act as a pediatrician in certain specialties like pediatric surgery or pediatric liver transplant. Um, I was the primary care provider for medically fragile foster children. Um, and I keep returning to teaching periodically because I want other people to learn to love this as much as I do. Moving into television is a wonderful story. There was a student at BMCC, Matthew Ostroff, who was a paramedic, and a wonderful paramedic. He won the New York City Paramedic of the Year Award um, in 2007. He won that award the same day he found out he took and passed his final so he could graduate. Um, he is also an actor on just on the side every once in a while he acts as an EMT on all my children they want real EMTs and paramedics for the same reason they can say go do it um, they called and asked him for help on pediatric stuff he says I don't know any pediatric stuff but I know someone who does and last June on June 17th I picked up the phone and I hear somebody saying hi this is Judy Wilson the casting director from ABC daytime all my children can you help us? And that's how I entered that whole world of television. When ABC first called me, they were looking for um, a pediatric person that knew a lot of information about infants and young toddlers. They were going to have a 24-week preemie born, and they were going to have a 14-month-old little boy be in a traumatic car accident. And that's not the normal kind of stuff that an adult nurse can tech out. And that's what they call it, teching it out. They had me actually write the lines for the doctors and nurses to say that ended up on TV word for word. Um, multiple people have told me that when they saw the show, without knowing that it was me involved, they felt like they were listening to Grey's Anatomy or ER, something a lot more realistic than normally listening to a soap opera, that it really brought uh, a sense of authenticity. Um, they would send me lines to preview, things like saying, um, oh no, I'm sorry, he can't have his baby blanket, he's in the ICU. Little things, not really medical, but I said, absolutely, a baby blanket is what a 14-month-old absolutely needs. So they made changes. Um, big things, little things, and I wrote a whole little booklet on what should be done, what should be worn, e even down to whether their hair should be up or down, watches on, watches off, things to have it be a sense of realism for a show that was trying to have realism. The, produce, the executive producer said we want it to be as real as possible. Now there are constraints because of television or the lines or time or equipment or whatever they have, but they got, they got um, real equipment. They had real clinical techs in for that equipment. And when people look at the pictures, if they look at a snapshot, they don't know that it's not a real 24-week preemie. They say, wow, what I see you are you? And I said, actually, that's a soundstage. Um, so it was satisfying to bring realism and to educate writers that didn't necessarily know as much as I wanted them to about how to deal with that age infant. I love working with the students in the BMCC nursing program and the reason I love it is because they're very different than a lot of other students. Our average age is in the mid to late 30s. 50% uh, of our students have a previous degree. Basically, I'm given wonderfully bright, essentially grad students who are learning new material for the first time. So they're grad students, but nobody's taught them anything about this topic before, so I don't have to undo any bad habits. It's the best of both worlds. And when I talk to people at senior colleges who have younger students, they're, they're actually very envious. They say, why would you be at a community college? I said, let me tell you about my students. And they say, wow, okay. Can I come work there? <laughs>